The Marvelous Adventure of the Water Cycle. In a tranquil village, Eric and Emma sit by the river on a sunny morning, watching the clear water. Eric says, Emma, have you ever wondered where this river water comes from? Emma frowns and says, I don't know. We could ask the wise turtle Tutu. They walk into the forest and find wise turtle Tutu, basking in the sun. Emma says, Tutu, we want to know where the river water comes from. Tutu smiles and says, That is a beautiful story. Let me take you to a magical place. Tutu leads them to the top of a mountain, where fluffy clouds hang in the sky like cotton candy. Tutu says, Look, those clouds will turn into rain, fall to the ground, form streams, and eventually flow into rivers. This is the beginning of the water cycle. Eric exclaims, Wow, so that's how it works. Suddenly, Pippi flies over, bringing an invitation for an adventure. Pippi says, Do you want to see the wonders of the water cycle with your own eyes? Follow me. We'll go to a special place. Emma excitedly says, We must go. They follow Pippi and fly to a vast ocean, where waves crash against the shore. Pippi says, Look, the water here is evaporated by the sun, turning into water vapor that rises into the sky to form clouds. Eric watches the evaporating droplets and says, So the ocean is part of the water cycle too. Pippi takes them through the clouds, where they see the clouds condensing into raindrops and then starting to rain. Pippi says, Now you see the rain returns to the ground, nourishing plants and animals, continuing the cycle. Emma says, This is truly a miracle of nature. Pippi leads them to a magical place, a secret lake called the Heart of Water, where the water is crystal clear and reflects the beautiful surroundings. Pippi says, This is the Heart of Water. The water here represents all the water sources on Earth. The Heart of Water reminds us that water is the source of life. Eric and Emma exclaim, We've never seen a place like this. Pippi takes them back to the forest, where they see the stream flowing into the river, the river merging into the sea, and the cycle starting again. Tutu says, Children remember, the water cycle is a part of our lives, and we must cherish our water resources. Eric and Emma say in unison, We definitely will. Suddenly the sky turns gray, and it starts snowing. Snowflakes gently fall, covering the entire forest. Pippi says, Children, look, this is another form of water, snow. When snow melts, it turns into water and continues the cycle. Emma says in amazement, So snow is also part of the water cycle. In the cold winter, Tutu takes them to a frozen lake, covered with thick ice. Tutu says, This is ice. When water gets very cold, it turns into ice. When spring comes, the ice will melt and turn back into water. Eric says, ice, snow, and water. It's truly magical. Back on the mountaintop, Pippi points to hailstones falling from the sky. Forms when water droplets in the clouds are frozen by cold winds and then fall. It's part of the water cycle. Emma says, I didn't know about hail. It's so interesting. They play in the rain feeling the magical power of the water cycle. In the forest after the rain, everything is full of life, with a rainbow hanging in the sky, symbolizing hope and beauty. Emma says, Every drop of water is the beginning of an adventure. Eric says, We will always remember this marvelous adventure. 